Hey everyone, and welcome to another production by Mobifier TV. I'm Black Anola, and this is the Nature's Prophet Guide, written by Hades. Nature's Prophet is a ranged intelligence hero whose main role is to gank and push as much as possible, to aid his team in destroying the enemy's lanes. Today we're going to focus on his semi-carry role played in mid lane. He's often picked in public and competitive matches because he's a very mobile hero, being able to teleport everywhere around the map to create real chaos, especially to towers. Nature's Prophet's first skill is called Sprout. It creates a circle of trees trapping everyone inside for a few seconds, but keep in mind that the trees can be destroyed by several spells, items, and abilities. His second skill is Teleportation, enabling Nature's Prophet to teleport anywhere on the map after a small delay. Teleportation can be cancelled by pressing the stop button, and it can be recasted elsewhere. It can be used for pushing, ganking, or escaping danger. Nature's Call is the Prophet's third skill. It creates Treants. They're great for pushing towers, counter-pushing, and in scouting around you. You can use them as tanks in the jungle, or even versus Rashan. Wrath of Nature is his ultimate. It hits multiple units one at a time all around the map. For each unit hit, the damage will be amplified. This skill is great for helping your teammates kill someone from around the map and also for pushing and farming lanes. Start out with one point in teleportation. Since you'll be going mid, there might be a first blood attempt and you should teleport in and help your team win the battle. Continue by leveling up Nature's Call, which you'll max by level 7. This will be great for pushing early towers, which means early gold for your team and map control. Moving on, max teleport next. Every level up the cooldown will be shorter, this will allow you to teleport around the map as much as possible, pushing, ganking, and annoying the enemy. Last, max out Sprout and your ultimate whenever necessary. Since you'll go mid and want to push early with your team, pick up a Ring of Basilius and a Tango. Don't forget to keep your ring enabled while pushing. It gives armor to your allies. Get all the last hits you can and grab your Boots of Speed, which will help you with ganking. If you're doing well, you can get a headdress as well to help pushing even more. By mid-game, you and your team should have destroyed some towers and made some nice ganks so far, so you'll want to use your gold to get a mechanism, which will greatly help your team in fights and pushes. Also, upgrade your boots of speed to power treads. Some extra stats and attack speed will make you a little better. Since you've already got your primary items, you can either start building a Shadow Blade for safer pushes, ganks, and more disables, an Orchid Malevolence if you need extra damage and a silence, or a Scythe of Vise if you need a stronger Disable. Even Necronomicon if you need more pushing power and some mana burn with some True Sight. By late game, you should already have your Scythe of Vise or Organ Malevolence. You'll want to get some more damage to take down the enemy team's farm carry as soon as possible. So pick up a Desolator, which will also help you with melting down towers, as the armor reduction from the item really hurts on buildings as well. If you need more durability and damage, pick up an Assault Curus, which will help your team melt through the opponent's armor. If you miss too much, you can pick up a Monkey King bar, which will fix that problem, and also give you a big damage boost. Other items for consideration are Daedalus, for even more damage and crits, and Black King bar for magic immunity to stay in the battle as much as possible. The early game is pretty simple. All you have to do is farm as much as possible in mid and avoid getting ganked and killed. Get your boots of speed as soon as possible and start helping the other lanes using your teleport and sprout ability. If you can get some nice lane wipes, you can try to get the tower with your teammates or by using your treants from Nature's Call. Mid game you want to stay with your team and gank as much as possible. Take as many towers and objectives as you can. Take whatever advantages you can get from the enemy team. Pressure the lanes, use smoke of deceit to gank with your team, teleport in and lock them in position with sprout. Also, while your team is pushing a lane, you can pressure another lane, maybe even get a tower or force your enemy to teleport to defend it. Only do this if your team can survive the fights with you out of action. Late game plays like the mid game. Gank enemy heroes who are away from their team, pressure the lanes, use your teleport to be a pain in the enemy team's side. You can push multiple lanes at the same time all by yourself, using your treants and even Necronomicon units if you built it. Also, don't gank by yourself. Don't risk dying. The enemy team can be nearby and giving advantage to your team is never good and might result in a lost tower or even Roshan. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to Mobifier TV. If you want to see a guide for a specific hero, let us know. Mobifier TV is sponsored by PDP Gaming Hardware.